All right. We're just getting warmed up here, but we gotta see if we can get things feeling right and do some deads today. Get things going. Yeah, I mean, his leverages are, are pretty good too, for sure. But I mean, he's just strong. They're not, they're not doing this by like weight classes or anything, so it's just how much weight can you lift. Which is kind of interesting. <laughs> I'm curious who all is going to be competing. I expect to be maybe in any given 10v10 situation, probably like the seventh strongest person. <laughs> that's, that's my expectation. I'm going to try to maybe just get warmed up with the hex bar a bit. I expect to be maybe the seventh strongest person in any kind of in any kind of five v five. Did I say ten v ten? Any type, any kind of five v five scenario. <laughs> but we'll see. No, you gotta do you gotta do four out of five. Not a squat bench, dead push up, pull up, so. <clears throat> I gotta decide, I'm probably squatting dead. I'm sorry, I'm probably benching dead. And push ups. So then I gotta decide if I'm gonna do squat, which I think I'm, I can put up some weight, it just hurts. So we'll see. <sighs> yeah, it has been very, yeah. Now these are from bodybuilding.com. <clears throat> so I don't believe they're available right now. Get warmed up. So yeah, I could do the big three, which would make sense. Big three plus push-ups would be would be fun. But or if my squat is still bad enough, the day of the meet, maybe I'll just do pull-ups. But if I can use the next you know two weeks or so to <clears throat> get that squat to at least feel good, then I can probably squat. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. If I can get the squat to be halfway decent. Because <clears throat> my legs are strong. I think it's just getting my brace to work right. So that it feels good on my lower back. But we've got a couple more squat workouts to do in you know, two and a half weeks, right? a couple more squat days. And if I can put up like, you know, 365 or something, I mean, that's not very much weight, but, you know, it may end up being respectable in terms of the amount of points you earn for it, so, we'll see. It's just like What do you got, you know? So we'll see. We'll see. Ooh. But I think they're still kind of figuring certain things out, so I'm just kind of you know learning as we go here. Wow, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Just so for fun, yeah. For fun and ten thousand dollars, so.
Yeah. You know, this may surprise you. I don't own a bull rat singlet. <clears throat> I know this may come as a shocker, but... 25 pulse weighing 250 versus 150, yeah. But so is squatting and deadlifting, thing, right? So, maybe it evens out. Hey, you know, some people will be... Some people will be insane at pull-ups, you know? But that same person might not be able to bench as much, you know? Or whatever. So it's just gonna be kind of interesting. Let's see how it goes. So we'll see. Yeah, I mean, if you, uh, some people like, you know, have to eat before training, and that, uh, that's, that's fine. I think there's like performance benefits to having food in your system. I just, with my schedule and preference, I just don't prefer to do it that way. And I feel good training, so that's okay. But yeah, I mean like, for the meat, that's gonna be going on in the middle of the day, so I'll probably have, you know, a couple meals in me at that point. I wouldn't mind training in the middle of the day, it just doesn't make sense with the schedule. I'm really used to eating, or not eating before training. Just wake up and get it. I'm pretty used to it. Yeah. I even say it's my preference. Sets my day off to the right, you know, the right pace. So, that's a big part of it too. But I, I wouldn't mind training in the middle of the day. But this is also just part of what works for my schedule the best.
That's a big boy. 6'4", 235 is a big boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I haven't really been training for strength at all, so. <laughs> I might be a bit bigger than I am strong, too. I do, uh... I do think that a big part of it is just not training these particular movements. I've been kind of babying my lower back a bit, so... My best ever is 355. <laughs> but yesterday, I just, you know, for the first time in a long time, just did 315. So there's that. We gotta work our way back up, but I think I just need to get the 315 feeling strong too. I mean, if you're 235, you must be pretty lean too, really. The 6'4 is big boy for sure. Big boy. Big boy, Feller. Yeah, we're gonna use the switch grip too, it's gonna be interesting. A new little wrinkle to all this. It's a different kind of technique. Yeah, 1215 is pretty lean, man. Pretty lean boy. What a beast. What a beast. Ugh. sumo too at some point. Which grip? The over-under? Oh, yeah, you can just do double overhand with straps <laughs> for training purposes, but now we gotta, uh, you know, adjust something else. No straps in the meat, so gotta tighten up. Build some familiarity with something else, you know? So, I could try the right side too, but I don't know. This feels better to me. Doing that with the right hand doesn't feel quite as natural. I'm gonna develop a lot of imbalance if I don't do the, the don't feel both, but it is what it is. I like sumo, but I don't know. I feel like I need a bar without knurling on it. It just feels weird, kind of drag on my legs. Blast this thing off my arm too. Blast this bad boy all the way off of there. Yeah, sumo's not great. What's up, Hag? This song is trying to get the freaking technique to work right now. I've been doing a lot of deadlifts for a while. You and me are kind of in the same boat. It's been a while. Been a bit. That's not gonna feel too great. We'll see. Thanks for the 19 months, man. Welcome back. Yeah, I don't know about that. What about that one? Could try this side too. I mean, it's about the same. Oh, freaky. Freaky. <laughs> Double pronated? What's that one? Love to get feedback on gym setup? What do you mean? 
How so? Like, what kind of feedback? <laughs> oh, great. I think I'm going to go under. Your gym picture right here. What kind of feedback are you interested in? Like, looks good? I mean, the main thing is just being, having your home gym be set up to train in the way that you want to. Like, that's the question. <laughs> so, if you're, uh, if your uh, gym setup allows you to do what you want to do, then I guess it's pretty good, huh? I feel like if you keep your arms straight, should be okay. Your bicep, but yeah. Looks like when your left grip is reversed, your right side falls, it, it just, it, it pulls higher anyway. My left side is just weird. Yeah. But like rack pulls, I do, yeah. Really like rack pulls, yeah. Big fan of those. I just don't think I'm gonna be able to do double overhand after a while, right? Like once it gets heavy, I won't be able to do the double overhand. Probably, right? I do have mild scoliosis, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that I, that could be part of it, yeah. Yeah, this can't be straps in the in the meat, right? Yeah. So. I mean, I'll use straps if I need to, but I can do switch grip with 315 for sure, and I did the other day for reps. But yeah, just like I said. A lot of this is just like building familiarity, right? Because working on six days a week too much? I mean, it could be. For me, it might not be enough. Yeah. I like working every day. But yeah, it certainly could be too much, yeah. But for me, I'm just, you know, I like to work every day. Yeah, I was invited to do a Twitch Rivals powerlifting meet. So, I guess I gotta try to get myself ready for that, huh? Gotta get myself ready for that. So I'm doing a lot of stuff I don't normally do. I have not been training for strength, and I have not been training the conventional barbell movements besides bench, so. It's in like two weeks, two and a half weeks on the 19th of this month, so it's a short prep. But I don't really expect to be competitive in the event, but I, I do want to participate. <laughs> and at least, you know, at least live up to my own expectations, which really aren't too high, but you know, I want to at least give it a good solid effort. <sighs> I'm just gonna see where we're at, right? Give her a shot. They wrap up any kind of program now. Not really, not intentionally. which is like grip the lower back. What do you think would be the comp levels? I mean, if there's anybody who actually power lifts there, they will dominate everybody, <laughs> including me, by a lot. I'm probably, my understanding is it's a 10 v 10 format, and I'm, I expect to be like sixth or seventh in any given matchup, so. Hey, sign up, I mean, you might be able to. I don't know how the invites are going out. Would you be able to participate? Would you be able to film yourself lifting live? If so, maybe. Yeah. 
I don't know, like, once again, like, all I know is it's like, I, I have like, like shreds of information about this thing. And it didn't take much for me to be interested, but yes, so whatever it is, I'll do it. But I don't really know, like, how the sign-ups work or whatever else. So yeah, so me getting everybody hyped up and wanting to have people sign up, I'm not sure if that's what their intention is. But yeah, you guys could try. Go for it, man. If you guys will be able to, you know, stream yourself lifting live, then you probably could do it. I guess. But don't, I, I'm not running it, so I, they could be like, can you please shut the hell up about this meet? We don't, we don't need all these people signing up. <laughs> we don't, we don't want these people signing up. <laughs> so I don't know what, what's going on, but you could try, yeah. Once again, if anybody actually lifts, like, exactly, Reggie. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. But there's an official post about it, so I think I can talk about it at least. But yeah, if they invite anybody who actually has sort of sort of any sort of powerlifting like technique and experience and like background, I mean, I will not be competitive. But just for my own like, you know, competitive spirit and want to participate and you know have a halfway decent showing, I'm. Practicing some barbell movements under more or less what I'm going to be doing conditions, right? I did not hear about any powerlifting meet in February now. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Yeah, that's the kind of thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's some strong ass people out there. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what what their criteria are for who's participating and whatnot. But I mean, like, I think I think Twitch Rivals allows people who are like, that's their thing to participate in the Rivals events, right? Like in, like in games, or is it, are those like usually are Twitch Rivals usually fairly like um, fairly casual? Because I don't really know. Because I guess I'm technically a pro bodybuilder, but that's different. And even though this event is IPF, I don't imagine they'll be drug testing, so, yeah. Everybody's toast, right? 
But the way the way the story works is the first place, even if the first place guy deadlifts like 400 pounds more than everybody else, he gets eight points and the next person gets seven. So it doesn't really matter, right? It doesn't really matter. Yeah, exactly, Ty. It's gonna be nuts. It'd be really funny. I'm not. I'm not sure exactly what Ben's lifts are, but I'm fairly sure he's a monster. So, <laughs> and once again, I give a lot of respect to people who actually power lift. It's a different game. It's a different game than the bodybuilding. Is that, is that your thing, Marcus? Are you a, like a weightlifter? <laughs> What's his carbohydrates, Halo? There's no like height weight categories, Robbie. I think it's just guys and girls of all weight classes just doing the weight and see what happens, I think. Yeah. Pretty sure. <clears throat> Try to bodybuild stuff, you couldn't get into it, it's pretty fun. I, I like it. The thing about it is like, bodybuilding just feels good to train too. I think, it just feels good. It's nice. You can drink carbs, what? What do you mean? Yeah, it's just like, it's like a type of sugar that digests at the right pace in the right way to kind of help me have some good glycogen rolling during the workout. I don't look at the being strong, looking the strongest. <laughs> My bodybuilding isn't really about looking strong either. I mean like if you if you see me when I'm like getting ready to compete, like with clothes on, I look like a little shrimp. But on stage, pretty sharp. Pretty sharp. It's called a Nutribio Supercarb. The ingredient you're looking for is the highly branched cyclic dextrin, though. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, it, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. It'll be fun. You know me. Like, I'm, I'm competitive, so I want to know everything about it, and I want to know how I can prepare for this and what to expect, like, strategy-wise. Just so I have an understanding of what I'm doing, but... It sounds like you're just, all I gotta do now is just have to prepare to lift and get going, so. That's kinda what we're doing. Just don't worry about it too much, just kinda learn, learn how to freak a deadlift again.
I'm just worried about like just getting the movement to work right. It's because it's like, it's like I have some halfway decent lips in me, I just have to get the technique right. I don't have to work on these little, I just have to like train these little like weak areas, like my, like my grip, my lower back. There's areas of weakness that I need to bolster. So a lot of these workouts right now aren't even really, like these aren't even really like, like big strength building workouts. It's just, it's just practice, you know? So exactly, you polish the form so you can like unlock the strength, right? So, uh, if you type exclamation mark subs, that'll link you to this up in this video. Yeah. Right. So it's just, it's just building familiarity with the, with the stuff, you know? So, the strength is in there, just about like piecing it together with this particular movement, right? No tips on deadlift form? Um, if you know what you're talking about, sure. Just take an honest look at yourself and like, do I know what I'm talking about? And if you do, absolutely. If not, maybe not. The boots. Yeah. But it's like, hey, you're uneven. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I am. <laughs> we leave it at that. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> but sure, yeah. Are you deadlifting these days? Tava? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's because I, I just have done so much more pressing than uh, squatting and deadlifting in my life, you know? I definitely have been doing some squats and deadlifts over the past, like, focus on bodybuilding, but before then I was doing push ups and stuff every day, you know? Like, so. And my, just the way my body's put together might be good revenge. That's awesome, man. Way to work on the 500. Got to come I don't, think, I don't think I'm going to be competing against them or on the same team yet. But yeah, it's T1's hosting an event. Some power will be fun.
<laughs> yeah, you, you definitely gotta go for the 500 instead of the 485, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, squatting away is something I've actually tried to avoid doing. Yeah. <clears throat> Try to actually use that glute hamstring and get, get your weight behind the bar. That's good though. I mean, everybody's, what's interesting is like, people's different, like, mechanics are different. So, you getting your, uh, your butt down sounds good, if that, if that ends up feeling good to you. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go up a little bit slow here because I'm not really sure where exactly we are with my grip strength on switch grip. So, I had tried sumo, I, I don't feel as strong with it, so I'm not gonna work on it right now. Sometimes I do sumo on the way up, like when I'm warming up, but right now I'm just gonna do, uh, it's gonna be conventional. Just, you know, like I can understand sumo might help your conventional. It's helping you just build strength and the deadlift in general. But I think with two weeks to go, I kind of want to specialize a little bit. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, the main thing I'm focusing on right now is just bracing. Getting my brace. I don't know where my deadlift's gonna end up, but I don't know where my squat's gonna end up. Maybe we can maybe we can get close to 400 on the deadlift. Um, depending on how how locked in everything gets, and then um, guess what I use for it? So I use right, and I told you exclamation mark subs. You can type that in the chat. Link you a video about it. My bench will be okay. If I can move three plates in the meet, that'll be great. If I can, if I can do maybe 365 on squat, my legs are way strong enough to just get my back to work right, and then same thing with deadlift. Just mostly going to be grip holding me back at this point. I feel like, but we will, uh, we will practice. We will practice. That's what we're doing right now. Like I said, I'm not really going to get a whole lot stronger right now. It's just practice. So sumo now has feels pressure on lower back and has bigger numbers. Yeah, I, I don't think sumo is bad. It's just like. This doesn't feel as natural for me right now, and so I think I might just work on this. But no, I think sumo is definitely something good to work on. It's just not where I'm at right now. I don't even really need to do three, honestly. I could probably just do like two or something. And then just do like some singles. Maybe? We'll see where we're at. sumo on the way up, but doing my grip different and sumo different and, you know, the stance different. Maybe just one thing at a time, you know? <laughs> just working one thing at a time. This is moving okay. What's on the cracking? Yeah, it's, uh, the cracking is the bar catching my, my, uh, like, knee sleeves and stuff. Not my, it's not my body cracking. <laughs> it's the bar, like creating little mini folds and snapping up. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Nothing's popping or anything. Yeah. 
We're good. So I can be a bodybuilder? I plan to, yeah. But probably not for a little while still. I gotta let the pandemic settle down before I uh, think about competing again. But yeah, I will, for sure. For sure. Excited about it. But this just means that we get to spend a lot of time in a nice little caloric surplus and build muscle and go from there, right? No, it's just, it's the bar. I'm, I'm pulling the bar really tightly into my uh, legs, so. And I have these little sleeves on to protect my legs from getting all scraped up so that it just pops on those on the way up a little bit. Don't worry. <sighs> It is tough though, but it's mostly grip the lower back. Fire through KG the bar, not quite, not quite. Not quite. A two by one maybe. This is just grip training. Yeah. I'm saying my hand, these, just keeping the sweat off my hands. If the sweat comes out my arm. I don't, I don't want my hands getting wet. Yeah, it is, yeah. I'm trying to at least. I'm trying to. Um, I'm kind of driving backwards and trying to push to the floor and push my hips forward. It's kind of the main things I'm doing. But a lot of it is it's getting used to the grip. Four or five bar, it is not, no. Right chair, 355. Not much. But once again, a lot of this is just exercise specificity training. Yeah. Cross super sore. Yeah. I, I'm not really familiar with the strongest five by five, but if you're if you're really sore and you're doing the same movement that made you sore before, you might want to not do that or go lighter. One-handed grip. See how much I have to work up for that. Work up to that. We're in California. mostly just for like practice. Why hold your shirt in a bottle? So my hands don't get wet. Same reason I got the little stuff on my wrists. 
Match of the three team type five by five. That's nice though. That's good. That's good reps. Come on, thanks for the 61 months, dude. Big flex for you. Thank you. Farmers carry or time holds for grips? Sure. Sure. But if I'm trying to learn how to get stronger gripping a deadlift with reverse grip for as much as I can do, maybe I just do deadlifts with, with switch grip for as much as I can do, right? If this is what I'm training for, maybe I just do that, right? That's kind of like my approach to a lot of things. But yeah. Yeah, maybe, you know? That's an awesome deadlift, man. Keep it up. I kind of have that like straightforward approach where if I want to get better at something, I may as well just do that thing, right? Yeah. That's good, man. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Just one, just you know, two by one maybe, just to kind of start working my way up to some singles. See where we're at. Get everything feeling right. Put some good tension on the bar, and then just move it. It's just funny how all these things don't feel like any sort of like big strength limitation. It's just these little form and whatnot. All right. See, it was good, really? <laughs> I feel like it's moving slow. That's good to hear. That's good. Feels like it's going real slow. All good, though. Glad to hear it. Okay. Uh, that was 355, we're gonna do 365 now. That same kind of thing. Just just doing some singles. I follow the name. At least yeah, just gotta push through. Yep. With the with the glues. Keep the brace strong too. Yup, yup. I could use this little thing, I don't think I need to though. It's kind of nice though. I mean, I don't need, I, I really honestly could have just put like, <laughs> like a little tiny plate on this, it would have been the same thing, but whatever. We're not, we're gonna go ahead and do this anyway, so. But I'm gonna do a small video. Yeah, so all the weights are just right on the side of the screen right here. See that? Not very heavy, but once again, it's just a lot of form practice right now. Just form practice. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. It's kind of small, I guess, over there. Small font for small numbers. There we go. Bodybuilding in 2022, probably late 2022. Powerlifting <laughs> in like two weeks. Right here on Twitch. Uh, Jenny got that for me. It's kind of cool, huh? Kind of neato. Yeah, 
think my hips came through a little bit of that time, right? That was a little better. Push the hips through a little bit of that time. The crack gets you guys. It's just a, it's just a bar coming up the, the sleeves. Just the bar coming up the sleeves is all. Yeah, I really did push through those that time. Yep. Yeah, I hope the I hope the form is good. It's not very heavy weight. I hope the form is good. Thank you though. Appreciate it. That's what we want. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Working on a team, working on it. Appreciate you cheering me on. Hmm. Working on it, you know? Make sure everything's working right. All right, here we go. Thank you, Marcus, the nine months man. Appreciate the games too. Yeah, we'll see, Burner. We'll see. I don't even think this is much of a strength cycle. It's more just like trying to get used, get used to this particular stuff, you know. Appreciate you guys cheering me on. Four or five could be possible. Let's grab up and just get the weight moving. We'll see. Here we go. I've never really done that, I don't think. That's pretty cool. 
Alright. It's just all the brace still. It's all still the brace. That's good though. I mean, we're doing a lot of like, you know, we're doing a lot of sets and stuff, but not a lot of reps per set, right? Yeah. Yeah, we need that iron core. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we just gotta get the brace. And I feel like my belt could be a little tighter, but I'm trying to really brace and not just sit, not just sit on the belt, you know what I mean? I think that's what's going on with my squat. Is my braces weird? Or I'm out of position on squat. I think I've got my butt too far back. But we're moving the weight though. That's good. I'm gonna do another one there. We can maybe do a little bit more though. We can maybe do 380. Oh, Presser, yeah. Not overhead, <laughs> but bench. My bench is okay. But the squat and dead aren't too hot. My bench is okay though. Okay, let's just move this real quick and move up. side of the spectrum where my bench is like pretty okay and my squat dead are kind of not good. <laughs> kind of funny, huh? I see that though. I'm a bro, yeah I am. For sure. 
I think part of it was I just never really trained legs when I was a distance runner. So I don't have, you know, there's like, there's quite a few years of, of and when I was just really young, so there's quite a few years of like, you know, non squat dead training that my bench training does have. All right. Let's keep moving the weight. We're doing good. Everything's moving good though, so I'm happy about that. Just gonna keep practicing in good form. So that was 100 pounds less than my PR, but that's the most I've lifted just at all in a while on straight bar deadlift. And it may be the most I've ever lifted at all uh, without straps. So that's cool. Should we, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure I can do 405, but we'll get there slowly. That's okay. We went light straight. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. I think we'll get four or five. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do 395. Just, just to continue the uh, progression here. And that's fine. What's the difference between powerlifting and bodybuilder? Well, a bodybuilder competes in bodybuilding and a powerlifter competes in powerlifting if it's a competition kind of thing. But the objectives of bodybuilding are more aesthetic rather than the objectives of powerlifting are more uh, just moving as much weight as possible, right? So, just different goals. So I primarily am focused on bodybuilding. So my exercise selection and rep ranges and overall objective is different than powerlifting. But, as a natural athlete, there comes a time where you have to get stronger to build muscle, so we have some strength, you know, built up. Just gotta unlock it, because I haven't been doing these particular movements in a while, right? So it's just a matter of doing the work now to like, like I said, this isn't a whole lot of like real big strength practice. Um, it's just, it's form practice. Not as much strength training, more form practice. You know? Doing good though. Doing good though. Everything is moving okay. So we'll keep doing it. Four or five, I think we can do four or five today. I'm gonna do this 395 real quick first. A four or five would be great. That, that would set us up nicely for like, you know, a nice little strength curve over the next couple weeks to get a little, little bigger lifties going. But yeah, the fact that we're doing four or five, well, not, we haven't done it yet. The fact that we're making plus four or five with those straps is great. Hey, can I get the, the three months big flex for you? I'm just gonna hit this real quick. I think it worked with the power. Yeah, I think we can do it. I'm just once again being a little, little conservative with how quickly we get there, let, 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 let everything tune up. I don't do like uh, weightlifting movements, like cleaning jerks and stuff like that now. They're not bad necessarily, I just, it's not something I practice. Okay. 
Let's go up. Wonderful. Cool. Beautiful. Now I could have put a 10 on, but you know, you know I'm gonna take these two plates off and put a 45 on. I think it's kind of precariously perched. I think it's okay though. You know I have to, right? Yeah, of course. age 18 hair I, I don't think I don't think that's it exists anymore for me man I think that's gone all right here we go Taking it slow. All good, you know? 
But yeah, I mean, the, the fact that this way is moving, that's making me real happy. That's making me real happy that this way is moving. That's exciting stuff. That is one of the fun things about powerlifting. Powerlifting is no fun when it hurts, but when you're just moving weight, then it's really fun. Yeah. One second. Hey, Benny. You guys sit out there? Don't worry. Alright, there we go. Alright, here we go. Let me lift this weight real quick. sending me his energy. Yeah, okay, I just want to let you know, so right now we're kind of chill, but when I'm actually going for like tough lifts, don't say stupid shit right beforehand, all right? Doesn't help. All right. That helpful. All right, here we go. That was a good one, we got tight up. Nice. Not too bad. Not too bad. 
Uh, it was a strapless PR. Problem. Dark Lord, thanks for the 60 months, man. Big flicks for it. Appreciate it. Cool. That's, um... That's good for today, I think. On the deads. We can do some other stuff. Like, maybe some, like, uh, straight-legged deadlifts. Not bad. Not bad. That's... I think that's good for today, though. This, this is just like a, like a feeler workout. I've never done switch grip for heavy weight, like in years, years. Um, part of me wonders if I should put on straps and go heavier, but I think that's not the plan. Yeah. I think that's not it. I think we do some, some other stuff now. Yeah. All right, strap PR, uh, 485. The switch is good. I felt I felt no tension in my arm, the supinated arm, which is a kind of a concern switch for some people. Cool. But yeah, cool. That's great. All right, now for the real workout is taking these damn weights off. But yeah, 425 is uh, good for today, I think. Like we moved it, it, it moved like it slow, but it moved consistently. I think that's a good place to be. And now I'm probably gonna do some like, some like straight legged deadlift like assistance work. I could even do more legs. So I didn't do enough legs last time. Hey man, that's awesome. Thank you guys for the encouragement and the uh, the uh, energy. That was, that was cool. That's a great place to call it though. 425 is good. But we can, the cool thing is we can do more than that. I, I, I've got more in the tank. I don't have to do it today, but that's good. It's good. I'm gonna text my uh, my coaches real quick. Get them off. And then these 45s aren't quite as big. 
Looks like I moved these okay too. Oh man. Uh, 225 might be harder than I want for straight legged work. And I can definitely do some other kind of back stuff. Do something else. You know, I, I think the cardio is still good. It's still nice. Um, it's just, uh, doesn't always like, fit the schedule. Okay. I might actually do lighter. Let's at least start off lighter. See where we're at. Now we got three else what I'm gonna do. Like eight weeks? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's, it's kind of fun. Just gotta be, just gotta stay healthy. It's honestly mostly just the back squats that I feel bad. Yeah. I think so. Cool. Let's do some straight legged stuff. Let's see, uh, I'm not gonna be able to do some like other back work too, right? Like some maybe some like cable pull down, something like that. <laughs> Ashtray has a special place in my heart because Captain Jackson Bajir is in there. Did you get Epic BG honor for it? Did we ever get a confirmation on that? Oh, oh yeah, it's just like, it's the same thing with barbell squat is I just need to uh, do it for the meat, then I'll go back to not doing it, probably. <laughs> I just need to get the form right. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. Mm, thanks, Coleman. Absorption. I mean, you're gonna make use of the food you eat during the day, regardless. I think if you wanted to like make make maximum use of muscle protein synthesis spikes, you know, eating 30 grams or 20 to 30 grams of protein per meal, having those meals spaced out throughout your day, that could work. But usually, as long as you get your protein that you need in for the 24-hour period that you're tracking as one day, you're fine. <clears throat> yeah, thanks for the power too, man. It's a safety squat bar. It's, I don't, I'm sure you can see it, but instead of having your hands back here, the safety squat bar has little handles that come out front. So you can still brace your core and bring in your lats and stuff, get strong, but you don't have to crank all the way back here, so you can be right here and squat like that. No. You're, you'll be fine. Just get your protein in for the day, and that's fine, Drew. Uh, it's a Pioneer belt. My sister got it for me.
Excuse me. Why is there another repeat? I mean, it's just telephone game. <laughs> you know, you, you hear something, you repeat it. Even if you mean well. Yeah. Like if you were to be hyper optimal and spike your muscle protein synthesis, then you could do that, but it's not that big of a deal. Your body will figure it out. Yeah. Yo, Sprat, thanks for the prime man. Big place to live months, dude. Thank you, man. Yeah. I mean, I try to have, like when I eat my meals, I try to have each meal feature protein for the most part. But I do eat a lot of protein early in the day, and then I actually start to eat less protein as the day goes on. I'm not sure that's optimal or not, but I end up just kind of having that feel good to me. Like, I, I, But generally all my meals have like, you know, 20 to 30 grams of protein, but that's just how it works. But some of my later meals might not have as much protein. That's, I would say that's a lot of protein though, Steve-O. It's a big boy. But I'm eating about 20 grams, of protein, 20 grams of protein, so I do about one. One gram per pound. <sighs> but, you know, whatever your preferences are, I'd rather get in more carbohydrates and more protein at that point. Try to be done. Some of these two. I'll probably take out my knee sleeves and stuff as well. We'll see. Are you get my level? I mean, you're bigger than me. If you're, if you're cutting at 212, you're bigger than me, man. Uh, it's a slow reverse diet. Respect it, though. Yeah. Oh, that, that's all protein, though. For sure. Some people, some people just like more protein though. That's fine. I'm like 220 protein, like 700 carb, 80 fat. I'd much rather have more carbs than protein at that point. You got enough protein, I'd say. But once again, if you feel good eating that way, go for it. You do you. So it sounds like it's working for you. But I'm gonna get them big carbies. Big carbies. I'm not really gaining weight that fast either, which is kind of funny. Got it kind of dialed in. It's neat. All right. Let me 
should do some other kind of back stuff, but I don't, I don't really want to do back stuff that's like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do pull-ups or anything right now. I mean, once again, I would take it down to like 200, 220, something like that. Shift, you can shift like a lot of calories into carbs. Because it's like a one-to-one -one trade, right? So, it's kind of easy to do. Because when you're eating such high calories, even your carbohydrate sources give you some protein, right? So it kind of, just the, the, just the amount of food you're eating just kind of adds up. Gets you plenty of protein. Everybody else, this is after a wildly simple bulking phase. <laughs> That's good that you made some gains. I mean, I bulked this one too. But yeah, I mean, just, you know, 
set a plan and work work into it, you know? But a good bulk is good too. Gotta make you some gains eventually, you know? Oh man. What else can we do today? Doing arms and shoulders tomorrow. That's good. Uh, let, me, let me pop these knee sleeves off real quick. Probably need any more. We might be better with these two. How about with the barbell movements? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know about rows. Could be kind of fun though. I have to keep it pretty light. I might do something cable. Something real light. Because I want to keep trying my lower back and glutes some low, but I don't want someone to be blasting them. And a row might not be what I want. Because it, everything feels pretty good. And I like it that way. Like we got some really good work in and there's no like like pain cost right now. It's not like your lower back got tweaked at some point or anything like that, right? I think the main thing I want to do is feel those like lower back and glutes. I feel like that's like a lower back glutes and bracing is like the weak point for me, I think. My brace used to be really good, so I know it's there, I just have to like access it. And today it was like, we were kind of getting it. We were kind of getting it. Which is great. Maybe we just more legs. <laughs> do some more, uh, more quads. I like training quads when that machine is fun. Never can get enough quads. Cause I'm doing all this like, you know, all this posterior chain work and my, my quads are like, hey, I barely even got the squat last time. But I think I think the glute work is the biggest thing. Am I gonna am I gonna start doing a what what do they call them? hip thrusts? Maybe I need to start doing hip thrusts. Maybe like right after the Vikings. <laughs> I can I can work with that. We do beer reviews a lot. How much time we got left? We got like 20 minutes. We'll do a little, we'll do a little bit more. This stuff is feeling good. This thing is good too. This thing is hard. It's good though. But yeah, I can, I can work with the Viking look. I'm down for that. Down for that. <laughs> But yeah, this thing that's like holding the abs tight and almost like really trying to get these lumbar guys to, not even just the lower back, it's like the lumbar brace properly. The glutes. Oh. Keep an eye on, I think my back's straight too. straps because you grip the bar. The bar's actually a little bit lower, so you have a little bit of leverage. Kind of interesting how that works. <laughs> that Neo. Well, not quite that far. 
Good for you, these guys. I was doing some of these sitting down. It's actually kind of good. We're about to do some more. Little lap rear delt stuff right there. Yes, indeed. Woo. Yes, indeed. Oh, man. All right. Oh. Keep messing around a little bit. Does more of a leg or back rest, but for sure. It's a whole deal. I'd rather train every day, so splitting my training makes sense. But if you don't train, Full body only a couple times a week because that's why your schedule works. Good. Good. Oh. Good. But yeah, I like to work out like every day. So. My split is set up to allow me to do that. Oh, I don't know if they're gonna stay now. I don't think they're a bad idea, I still like them. Oh, yeah. Put in quads. A little sweaty though. 
just look around. All those glutes and hamstrings getting all the work done today. I mean, quads are involved for sure, too, so. Crazy, but um, here you go. We're working back up to some strength stuff. Woo. All right. Oh, we do have to get some gaming going today too. So can't manage them all morning, but. We did get it going. Oh, let me start a few more. Let me put this at 210. I think this, this way is weird, I think. There we go. For some reason. Is that weird too? Yeah. 210 and 200 are kind of weird. Are you weird? Super strong. So that will be fun. That will be fun. He is gonna tear it up. <clears throat> oh man. 
Oh, man. Oh. Ah. Oof. All right. A little more pumping to do, a little bit more stuff. I got this though. All right. Oh man. Okay, calisthenics. Um, cool. They're not my focus. But they are cool. Woo. And they definitely can have some value. It's just not like, it's just not my focus. I like to train with weights mostly. And I think I think that training with weights is good for my goals. But yeah. Yeah. Zarya definitely is a, a big fan of the calisthenic style. Yeah. Movement and whatnot. Well Juji is way stronger than me, is the other thing. <laughs> so not only can he do this, but he's also way stronger than me too. Good stuff. Oh. Pull that brace. Oh. For sets. <sighs> ah. Ah, lovely. Lovely. Woo. Yeah, dude, he's a pretty cool guy. Oh, man.
movement. Yeah, he's almost moving the whole stack. That's okay, though. If you need to go heavier, you just do pull-ups. You know? Thank you once again, Kiko, for the big gifties on the day. That's very kind. Definitely appreciate that. <clears throat> Is Berserk my band? No. But that's my boy. We've been working with him and using his music and kind of cross-promoting for a while. It's pretty nice. He owns. Yeah. Real cool dude. For sure. That's my boy right there. Oh, man. Woo. All right. A couple more sets here. It's awfully close to the camera there, isn't it? Gotta get that here, so I'm gonna do one more set here. And we're gonna probably move along to get our, uh, our day going. So we gotta make sure we get some good gaming in today, too. But, fun workout today. Tomorrow will probably be uh, arms and shoulders, really. Pump that up. Maybe do a little bit more legs tomorrow. Maybe we'll just do like a little, kind of a fun little wrap up, but I do want to train arms and shoulders, too. Even though we're mostly doing powerlifting sort of as our focus for the short term, I do want to try to get uh, that arms and shoulder gains going too, right? And it'll give my, you know, the rest of my body a chance to recover a little bit too. So that's important. Ah. Uh, All right. Oh. Oof. Cool. The yeah, that was good yesterday. Ben Sidu and me 3-3, that'd be really fun, yeah. I'm down. I'm down. That'd be great. Whew. I do a lot of back stuff in the evening, so. How much weight did I get in the last four months? I don't know. Maybe 10 pounds, tops. I'm getting weight real fast. Eight, ten pounds, maybe. Something like that. Taking the bowl pretty slow. But that's good. That's the idea. That's the idea. I think I, I think I finished my mini cut at the beginning of the year, though. So, but since I ended the mini cut, we probably gained. Uh, oh, probably gained, you know, around eight, ten pounds, which is pretty good. A little bit more? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting away pretty slow. Not in a big hurry. And then you half pound a week? Half pound a week is, is fine. That's great. Oh. Mm, don't need to get too chubby. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, I think we're in a good spot with this workout. Let's call it here, dudes. We'll be back in action probably in like 30 minutes or so to try to get our, our demon going for the day. Play some WoW. Uh, and then we're going to be playing more Wilson. Very excited for that. That was really cool to check out uh, yesterday on our sponsored stream. We've got another, another round of it coming up today too. So get hyped for that. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys follow the stream. And I will see you guys later today for the games. And of course tomorrow morning for more games. All right. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.